Ooh, take a look at this watermelon. It looks pretty good, right? Would you like to buy it? I'll sell it to you. Usually, watermelon is sold by weight, right? So if you want to buy a watermelon and you go to a store, usually the price is based on weight. But sometimes it could be a fixed price here in Canada. Sometimes it could say, you know, $5 for a watermelon. Then that's a fixed price. But sometimes it's sold by weight. Now, if you go into a grocery store here in Canada, you will see the price per pound and the price per kilogram for everything. Watermelons, um, meat, uh, fruits, vegetables, everything. Okay, the price per pound and the price per kilogram. Now, why is that? Well, in Canada, we use the metric system officially. You know, we're supposed to use the metric system, but still, you know, we use the imperial system for a lot of things here in Canada. Okay, so that's why in grocery stores, you will see two prices, right? The price per pound and the price per kilogram. There are 2.2 pounds in a kilogram. Okay, did you know that? Do you use pounds in your country? Probably not. You probably don't use pounds, but here in Canada, we use pounds, but the price is also listed in kilograms. So don't worry, if you're used to kilograms, you will be totally fine and comfortable shopping here in Canada. Okay, now if I sell this watermelon to you, you know, if it's sold by weight, uh, I'm going to get a lot of money if it's a heavy watermelon, right? If it's heavy. But if it's not very heavy, then I won't make very much money, right? And that's too bad. But I have an idea. I have an idea. I'm going to take a syringe and pump the watermelon full of water, full of more water. I mean, there's already water in a watermelon. That's why it's called a water melon. But I'm going to pump more water into the watermelon to make it heavier. That way I get more money. Do you think it's a good idea? You know, this happens sometimes in different parts of the world. People do this, okay? Uh, sometimes farmers tamper with the food to make more money. Sometimes farmers tamper Tamper means to change in some way. It's not a good word. Tampering is a bad word. They're, they're tampering with it, right? So sometimes farmers tamper with the food to make more money. Why do they do this? Well, because of greed. Greed. Are you a greedy person? I hope not. I don't like greedy people. Okay, I don't like it when people pump their watermelons full of water. That's That would be really bad. I don't know if I've ever had that happen to me. Have you ever heard of this? I've heard about it, but I don't think I've ever eaten a watermelon where someone you know pumped it full of water. Um, now, what do you think? You might think the food in Canada is safe. Do you think that? Do you think the food in Canada is safe? There's a loud plane flying over my house. Can you hear it in my microphone? I live very close to the airport, and every time I hear a plane, it distracts me. I can't, I can't focus on my teaching. Okay, now in Canada, I don't think this happens. I'm pretty sure farmers don't pump their fruit full of water to make more money, but farmers do it to their cows all the time and to their chickens and their pigs and other animals. Okay, farm animals are called livestock. Livestock. Livestock means, you know, cows, chickens, pigs, those kinds of farm animals. So farmers pump their livestock full of stuff, not water, 
they pump their livestock full of steroids and hormones and other things to make their animals grow faster and bigger and stronger, right? Why? Well, so that they can make more money, right? It helps them make more money. Now, let's say it takes six months for an egg to become a fully grown chicken that you can kill and eat. Okay, let's say it takes six months. But if the farmer can pump the chicken, you know, when the chicken is a baby, when it's just a little baby chick, if it can pump it full of steroids and antibiotics and hormones and everything to make it grow faster, then maybe the process would only take one month, right? Which would mean more money for the farmer because it would be faster turnover, okay? Faster turnover. The farmer doesn't need to take care of the chicken for six months, it's just one month, right? Kill, he sells it, makes his money. So he makes six times more money if he pumps it full of hormones. Now, I just made these numbers up. I have no idea. I don't know anything about chicken farming. I've, I have worked on chicken farms just for a few days here and there. And I'll be honest, I don't like chicken farm. Have you ever been inside a chicken barn? It is just disgusting, disgusting. Or a pig barn. You know, this kind of farming is called factory farming. Factory farming means like where you have a big barn and you have a lot of animals in there and you, it's terrible. I've worked in chicken barns and my job was to, you know, grab chickens in cage, from their cages and put them into like a, a cart and take them and load them onto a truck to go away to, you know, a butcher where they, they get killed, right? I've worked at chicken farms and it is, it's just so disgusting. You have to wear a mask because if you don't wear a mask, you're going to die in a chicken barn. It's, it's just crazy. You should go into a chicken barn or a pig barn at least once in your life so you know how disgusting it is. But this is called factory farming, right? Where the chickens are kept in small cages and, you know, your, my job was to put these chickens into this cart, right? So you have to work really fast. You get paid. Uh, I got paid per chicken. I don't know if it was maybe like four cents per chicken or something like that. So you have to just grab these chickens very fast. You can, you have to maybe grab two at a time. So you just grab their legs and put them in. You're just grabbing, grabbing these chickens and the chickens are screaming, right? Right? After a while, after like an hour working in the chicken barn, it's crazy. You start to go crazy. The chickens start talking to you. Really, this has happened to me. Right after like an hour or two of working in the chicken barn with my mask, I could hear the chickens. They started to talk to me. It was crazy. Like it was they, they like they were speaking English. It was weird. I think I was going a little bit crazy, <laughs> but that happened. Right, and so I'd be grabbing chickens, and sometimes you grab a chicken and its leg breaks, or its wing breaks, and then it starts screaming. Bark, 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 bark. Right, but. You know, that was my job. I just had to work really fast. I had to work fast. And so, you know, everybody, other workers in the barns, you know, they're just grabbing chickens and you, maybe a leg breaks or, you know, the, the chicken gets injured somehow. So I really don't like factory farming. This idea of like animals just, you know, you have to get the animal to grow really quickly and then put them into a small cage and then ship them off to a factory. And then it's just, it's a crazy process. I don't like it. I don't like factory farming at all. Now, sometimes on packages, you will see these kinds of labels, okay? no hormones, no steroids, no antibiotics, no additives, no preservatives. Okay. That's great. That means it is organic. It's organic. Do you have organic food in your country? Organic means natural. It means natural, but 
to be honest, this isn't even, this has problems too, because in Canada, um, the organic business, the organic industry is like a business. And, you know, it, it can be very, it can be very sketchy. Sketchy means like, you know, there's money, you know, money can go under the table. People can pay bribes and everything like that. So, I mean, even a lot of organic food, I don't trust it. I don't think it's it's really organic, but they might pass some tests and, you know, maybe their farm will get a sign that says organic, but really they it's not organic, right? So I want to ask you a question. Is non-organic food harmful? Do you think... If a person eats non-organic food, is that harmful to the human body? Well, I think any time greed is, you know, nearby, it can have harmful effects. It can have harmful effects on relationships, on food. Okay, so I think I think greed is bad, and I don't like the idea of greed in our food. That's why I don't like factory farms, okay? Now, you know, people might say, well, I'm not greedy. I just want to make a profit, right? Everybody needs to make a profit, right? They need to make money to eat, to live, to be happy, right? Now, is there a difference between profit and greed? Is there a difference? Well, yeah, there is a difference, right? Everybody makes money somehow. They make a profit. But sometimes... Sometimes it's like this much of a difference, okay? Is it profit or is it greed? I don't know. It's it's really close. It's a fine line. Sometimes we say there's a fine line between two things. That means <laughs> yeah, it might be it might be profit, but it's probably greed as well, right? Hey, I want to know. Do you think Canadian farmers are greedy? Do you think they are greedy when they pump their livestock full of hormones and steroids to make them grow bigger? Do you think it's greed or is it just profit? Let me know what you think down there in the comments and I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care.